Hi my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Zita. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I made a snowflake from some colorful dollar store Christmas bags. And before we get started, let me remind you to hit that subscribe button, like and comment on my videos, and share my videos with your family and friends. So let's get started with making this snowflake. So here are the bags that I picked up from the dollar store. These were nice and colorful, uh, red um, buffalo check with a snowman on it. So this snowflake's going to have some color to it. So there were eight uh, paper bags in this package and they were really thick paper bags actually. So they were actually a little harder to cut than regular paper bags. So first here I'm starting out with some um, glue stick and I'm going to apply that to the bags and then I'm going to layer the bags on top of each other. And you're going to want to face the uh, paper bag back down and just pile them on top of each other. So here I'm just applying the glue. So I'm going to do that for all eight bags. And guys, if I was to do this again, I'd probably use hot glue because I think it's going to stick a lot better with the hot glue. I did have a little issue with this glue at the end, so I had to use a stapler to uh, staple the snowflake in some of the areas, but it still turned out beautiful. So here I'm just pressing it down and I am going to put uh, a weight down on top of this and leave it for a while. just so it sticks better. So here I've uh, come back after I've left the um, glue to dry after putting the weight on it and here I'm just measuring out where I want to make my first uh, angled cut at the top. How far down I want to go and just using the pencil and the ruler there to measure out the center before I make my cut with the scissors. And as you'll see here, like I said, these paper bags were really, really thick, a lot thicker than your normal paper bag. I don't know if it had something to do with the print being on there or these are just really thick paper bags. Um, so I did have to um, kind of go underneath the paper bag there at the top. So as you see, I got two cuts uh, completed on the top. And now I'm just uh, making some cuts in the middle of the bag to make it look like a snowflake. And as you can see there, I'm struggling to get the scissors through the paper bag. So I started using the X-Acto knife to um, tear out some of the pieces and this worked really well. So I'm going to do that on both sides as well. Now you can put as many cuts in the paper bag as you'd like to make your snowflake a little different. I just used the one. So I've done that and now I'm just opening it up. And you're going to want to put the two end pieces together to make that snowflake. Now I have seen some use nine paper bags, but there are only eight in this package. But I actually like the eight because it gives the snowflake that uh, tight look instead of being all loose with too many paper bags. So here I'm just putting some uh, more glue on both ends to stick those ends together. And you're going to want to open it up and just stick those together. And this is where I started using the stapler to uh, keep it in place because like I said, the glue wasn't sticking in some areas and the stapler worked fine as well.
So this is what it looks like once I have all the staples in the places that I want to put it in. So now I'm taking my hole punch here and putting a hole at the top and I got some um, red and white baker's twine there that I'm going to put through that hole that I just punched. And now I can hang it up anywhere in my house that I want to. So guys, I hope this easy to do snowflake gave you guys some inspiration to make your own snowflakes and design them any way you want to. These are easy to do with your kids and I love them myself as well. And you can hang them anywhere in your house to make your house look more festive. So let me know in the comments what you thought of this easy to do snowflake tutorial. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.